Hey friend, what's up? Welcome to my channel again. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the installation of Windows 11 on unsupported PC. I know it's gonna be really, really difficult at first, but if you follow my video until the end, you'll find all the tips and tricks how to do so. So stay tuned. But for those who are really new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, to share, to comment, and to like so let's get started in this one we're gonna use the virtual box again to make sure that you install it properly before you put it live on your on your PC or laptop so follow all the description and all the requirement you're gonna need to install it make sure you go full memory gigabyte as a minimum so try to do that way and for the hard drive put at least 80 gig on your virtual box so that will be more safer so follow all the instructions for all the steps I'm gonna put through uh, to install uh, Windows 11 on your virtual box then we're gonna go to the next step Now select your ISO file and uh, possibly new R drive where you save it and upload it to the virtual box and ready to fire up your machine. So once everything's fine, you're happy, you can just start your machine and the installation gonna begin with Windows 11 on virtual box. Yeah, select the language and go to the next and then it's gonna set up your window it may take a while but don't worry about that because uh, it's depending on the power of your machine make the screen a little bit bigger so you can see exactly what you're doing here it's gonna ask you for key but we don't have a key at the moment just click on that and select normally you're gonna use the pro version but in my investigation i try to play around with it to see which one is gonna really make my life more easier but you see the result anyway when you go to next that's why you're gonna get the error message that your pc is not really compatible don't worry about that that's the reason why we got that video today so we're gonna do the trick and tips how to solve it bear with me until the end So what you need to do, go to command prompt and type uh, the register, regid, which is going to be easy for you. Just follow what I'm typing there, it's going to take you to the, your register. But to go to command prompt from there, you need shift and F10 to get through that. So once you're inside, so follow all the steps and you're going to create new folder and you're going to put all these new registers inside to make the system works so follow everything through create a folder called lab config under the setup then you're gonna create four names as you can see on the screen so write it correctly and make sure all the value for each of them is one so I'll let you check it out
once you put all the information described there correctly so you can close that window your uh, register window and uh, close the command prompt window as well you can exit it and then you fire up your window again to see the result of your changes so that we don't have a key again so right now select the pro version and then bingo voila so the difficult part is already passed so you just click on custom select custom and then go to the next 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 it's quite easy check it until the end because if you do it wrong it may take you to the wrong path so keep checking and follow the step as you can see on the screen take a bit longer sometime but be patient because it's dependent on your machine and uh, all this uh, uh, power of if your machine is so powerful or not so bear with me and till the hand because again if you made any mistake you're gonna spend the time to return again to start again from scratch so follow up watch carefully and you're gonna see the result again and uh, you're gonna have a chance to play with the new window 11 right here you just select your region going to next then the input your keyboard click next again and skip this part because you don't need it and then follow up again so it's really nearly there so be patient and relax this is just your credential for old mail or Microsoft accounts so don't worry about it much so we're gonna skip all this part and go to next 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 and uh, yes again you don't pretend that you don't have accounts for Microsoft so just say that you don't have it uh, no problem about it and it's gonna be offline at the moment then keep on waiting and then is it ask you some uh, security question uh, what's the name of your first love or your first pet whatever it is so <laughs> so just skip this part it's really fine but you don't need it most of the time here you're gonna just gonna click no no and next and uh, if you want to spend more time about it to read it so you can do so but in this video just skip all these parts just no and next next no and next until we're gonna see the real mccoy so are you ready for that so it may take a bit minute as you can see in the screen but again don't worry about that it depends on the machine power so don't worry about it it's gonna take approximately about 10 to 15 minutes maximum almost there the message is there bingo et voila
have fun with this one play around go to google play with uh, microsoft way that being said uh, we're gonna finish our video right now and uh, the video was about how to install windows 11 on unsupported pc so i hope you enjoyed that and please don't forget to subscribe to like to comment and to share with friends so we go a lot of more sales of windows 11 coming up so stay tuned and i hope we're gonna see some new stuff coming up again so cheerio bye bye